how's it going? Welcome to your love reading for the last half of August. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Pisces out there. It's not possible. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. Okay, if it does resonate though, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I love your stories. All right, guys, here we go. Overall energy for Pisces. Whoa. Well, I just dropped half the deck. Sorry about it. Overall energy for Pisces. Hmm. Page of Cups reversed, huh? What's up, Pisces? You not feeling it? Recent past for Pisces. I'm trying to shuffle these so that you guys can see them, but this is kind of too far away for me. My arms are short, so sorry I don't have to move them out of the screen. All right, recent past, the sun reversed. Well, hopefully you're out of that energy. Present energy, I guess you're not, huh? Nine of wands. All right. Oh, immediate future strength immediate future strength good stuff what are you hoping for Pisces well that was quick four of swords potential obstacle for Pisces whoa all right that's too many Again. I need to get my shit together. I do. Potential obstacle for Pisces. Oh. The High Priestess. I will show these to you guys as I read them as well. I know they're kind of hard to see when I sit them down, but you'll see them. What are you afraid of, Pisces? King of Wands reversed. Advice for Pisces. Page of Wands. Okay, here we go. All right, Pisces. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. So that would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during these two weeks in love. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you, the person you're dealing with, your surrounding energies, all that good stuff, okay? All right, so the energy that you yourself are taking on, Page of Cups reverse. So it's like... You don't really feel like dating, talking to anyone about love. If you're in a situation where somebody's hoping for an apology, it's not happening. Um, you just don't feel like, you don't feel like putting yourself out there, basically. All right. Clarify the Page of Cups reverse for Pisces. Two of Cups. Whoa, okay. So you might already be in a connection with someone, a soulmate connection. Um, and somebody comes in and tries to talk to you. And you're rejecting them. Um, or somebody could already be in another relationship and that's why you're rejecting them. Because they're already with somebody else. Um, or there could be, you know, a connection here that requires an apology from someone 
but the connection's still ongoing, but somebody's just not feeling the love really. Um, and somebody is kind of hoping for an apology and it's not happening. Wow, okay. Um, and that honestly looks kind of minor up there, but the rest of the reading doesn't. So let's keep moving. Your recent past, the sun reverse. So this is the happiest card in the deck. However, it is reversed. So obviously not happy energy, right? Um, it is in your recent past. So hopefully you're getting over that or they are. Somebody here was really unhappy in the past. Somebody maybe didn't have clarity on a situation. There may have been some things that somebody didn't know. All right, and your present energy, you have the Nine of Wands. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And, and again, this can be for you or them, but this is an energy of being at the end of your rope. Um, it's really exhausted, really drained, you know, like you put in so much effort and you go and go and go and you try so hard with this connection or just life in general and you're just drained like you just don't have hardly anything left like you're still there you're still fighting or they are um but just barely just barely hanging on to it here let's clarify the page not the page we don't need to clarify the page we already did that <laughs> clarify the nine of wands for Pisces. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Pisces. Too many. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Pisces. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I think this card is freaking adorable, by the way. But um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's about investing in a connection. It's about putting in the work. And you know, you definitely are, or they are, but it's just so draining that, man, it's only going to last so much longer if something doesn't change. In your immediate future, you have strength. This is Leo energy, um, and the sun is as well, so it could just be because we're in Leo season, but whatever. I do have to say this too, and I've been telling uh, pretty much everybody this. Um these readings for this particular time period have had a lot of major arcana cards in it you have one two three so far um a lot of others have had a lot more so I, I don't know you know if it's as big of a deal for you or not but you do have two leo cards coming out here so we're in when i'm doing this reading anyway we're in the lion's gate portal um I myself have not done any readings on that, but I know a lot of readers have. So you might want to just Google it. Google Lionsgate Portal reading for your sign. Um, I'm sure you'll find some. It might be beneficial to you since these cards are coming out, right? Okay, anyway. Strength in the immediate future. Let's see what that's all about. Clarify strength for Pisces. Obviously, we know what the card means. Let's see what it pertains to. Strength in what? Clarify strength for Pisces. The two of swords reverse. So it's being strong enough to make a difficult decision. All right. One of you here is going to have a difficult decision to make, but you're going to be strong enough to do it. Two of swords is air, by the way, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's making a, a difficult decision. One that's, that's really hard for you to do or for them to do, but somebody is you know, gathering up the strength to do it. All right, what are you hoping for? The Four of Swords. You're hoping for some healing. You're hoping for a break, a time out. Like, you're just so drained and just not, not feeling it. Like, you really need a break. You really want just to take a time out, just to take some time for yourself to regroup. Your potential obstacle is the High Priestess. This could be Secrets. There could be secrets that are an obstacle here, and I see that as well with the sun reverse, so you don't have clarity on an issue. Um, you need to just pay attention to your intuition. Really, really listen to your intuition, guys. That's It's one of your biggest gifts, being a water sign, so definitely don't cut yourself off from your intuition. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to what the universe is doing for you right now in your world, all right? And trust your intuition. 
what are you afraid of? The King of Wands reverse. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be um, a controlling, demanding person in your life. Somebody who just kind of takes what they want and they really don't care who it hurts. They're just going to go after what they want and they don't care who they have to hurt to get it. There may be someone like this that is, you know, I mean, um, hopefully you're not physically afraid of someone because this person can be a narcissist. So if that's the case and you're just in this relationship with this controlling, demanding person, I don't advise staying in it. I don't care if they are a soulmate or not. That doesn't mean you have to stay with them. All right. Your advice. The Page of Wands. More fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if you do, then you do. With the Page of Wands here, though, express what it is that you are passionate about. If there's someone that, like, you think is hot, that you think is attractive, then tell them. You know, it's okay to open up that line of com communication to be flirty with somebody. It's okay to send somebody a message. It doesn't have to be anything serious. It could just be like, you know, whatever, something flirty. Clarify the Page of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Page of Wands for Pisces. Oh, the sun reversed again. You guys have this twice, guys. I am so sorry. Okay, you need clarity. You need to talk to someone and get some clarity on your situation. The person that you're dealing with, preferably. <laughs> talk to them and get some get some clarification here. There's some things that, that are just so foggy for you right now. You need to really talk to the person, get some clarity. You need to practice your self-care so that your mind isn't so foggy. And you need to listen to your intuition, okay guys? Alright, take care.